Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Zero to Hero. In this one, I will begin by doing some duo battles with a friend of mine from the Discord. If you want to join that, by the way, the link to that is always at the top of the description. But let's see if we can get some nice loots from these duos. Oh my oh, shit. Did you see oh. that shit? Holy fuck. Like 60 health there. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. Oh, oh my 59. 59. Okay, now we get a draw. Now we get 40, it. Holy 40. shit, dude. We're, oh my. 45. Oh, oh my god. 40. Oh my god. <laughs> that was actual speedrun. Nintendo 64. I'm recording. I'll be done after this. Okay. This is our last chance to get a bandos piece. Mad Again? Magic. Yeah. The difference between soloing bandos and doing duo is insane. Like, we did 45 kills in one trip, we didn't get anything, but my KC is now 46, and uh, I'm definitely going to do duo bandos in the future instead of solo. I mean, like, 6 kills on the high end solo, at least with my gear and my experience, compared to 45 kills is insane. We could have probably been there for even longer. But yeah, it is quite the difference. But now I'm going to do some more consistent money making. I'm going to do Solra. It was quite a while since I did this. And I'm going to be using Vengeance with an imbued heart. Now that I have a bit more money, I could actually afford that. My kill should be very, very efficient. And hopefully we can get some nice loot. Such a good trip. I actually got double amount of uh, Solra scale drop twice. So uh, in just Solra scales on this trip, if I can uh, price check, I actually had some lag there. 370k in one trip from just the scales. This is some insane money, as always. For some reason, I feel like they've decreased the drop rate on Soldra teleports. I used to get them all the time, and maybe I'm just wrong, but I've done 22 kills now, zero teleports so far. Let's see how long it takes before I actually got a teleport drop. There we go, that's the first Solandra teleport drop, and it took me 36 kills. Just so you guys know, last time when I did 100 Solra kills, I got 40 in 100. So, the first 4 at 36 KC, yeah, either I've been extremely unlucky or they have reduced the drop rates, but I couldn't find anywhere where it said they reduced it, so I guess I was just very unlucky. Well, that didn't take too long, 42 kills actually only, and uh, Magic Fang. I actually don't know if I've got one of these yet, so I'm going to have to check the collection log after this trip. Okay, so I did already have it. Uh, the things I'm actually missing from this boss is Onyx, the uh, mutagens, and then just the pets. So I'm actually not missing that much. Actually getting pretty close to 100 kills done. I'm on 95 and I get a double magic seed drop for 234k. I actually never had one of those. That is a pretty rare drop, I think. It's not super rare, but it's kind of rare and I got two of them in the same drop. So it's probably the same, if not even more rare than a unique. That's kill number 100, but I am actually going to keep going because uh, I'm getting 147,000 GP per kill. Of course, because I got that Magic Fang. And by the way, I was just very unlucky on the teleports before because after I got my first drop of them, I started getting way more of them. So that is pretty insane though. I went like four times or five times the drop rate of teleports for a while there. But uh, yeah, then I started go getting them again. I think a good stopping point is going to be when my trident runs out of charges and I have, as you can see, 765 charges left. I have currently done 136 KC, no more rare drops, but uh, hopefully before my trident runs out of charges we can get another one, that would be very nice. And uh, that's it, that's the uncut onyx on kill number 753, so 153 kills in. I only need the pets and the mutagens now, that is pretty insane. That's going to have to be the last kill because I only have how many charges left? 36 and I won't be able to do another kill with that, so 770, meaning we did 170 kills and let's see what the total loot for that was. You can see right here 22.7 mil and how much per kill? 134,000. With two drops, I would say it's pretty lucky. I think in 150kc I should expect around one drop. So definitely getting two is very nice. And getting the uncut onyx for the collection log was, uh, well, pretty much the best drop I could get. Of course, as always, we do some corrupted gauntlet. The first reward is going to be... Oh, that is... Oh, that's a lot of money, actually. I thought it was a way worse reward than uh, what it seemed like. 180k, yeah, that's pretty good. Kill number uh, two of the corrupted gauntlet. That's a lot of rune items. Still after 33 completions, I die now and then. I die two times before getting this completion, so hopefully uh, it's going to give me something good. 
Uh, it's decent. 43 sapphires, that's a lot. Is that multiple? That's only one drop, interesting. Look how stacked my gear is currently. I have full tier 3 except for the head. If I die here, I actually have a lot of food as well. That, it is impossible to die at this point. So much food left. I have like 10 foods left. So yeah, very easy when you have that insane gear, but it's very rare to be able to get that. But uh, I've done 4 now. I'm probably going to do 5, so last one incoming. Last chance of a Blade of Zelda in this video? Nope, not this time. A lot of gems this time uh, around doing the Corrupted Gauntlet and coins. Something I haven't done in a while is solo raids. And I have some gear upgrades now. For example, I do think it's going to be easier to do Ulm with the Blood Amulet of Fury. We will have to see how that works out. Also, I have the uh, Face Guard. Nate's not Face Guard. And that is going to be quite a difference. And I am pretty interested in seeing how it's going to work. I had a BGS last time doing this. And now I have a Dragon Warhammer. But uh, I'm probably going to be very rusty. But uh, hopefully I can get at least one deathless run in this uh, video. Oh yeah, uh, I'm at the last part of the raid. I forgot to uh, charge this again. Nice. Okay, well I can definitely feel that I haven't done raiding in a while. I died at Ulm, but I did a 41 minute raid, of course with a death and 21,000 points. Hopefully next time I will be able to do Deathless, and that is of course a white beam, that's not the way I want to run. Okay, uh, so let's see what a 21,000 point white beam looks like, like 200k reward maybe? 300k actually. Oh my goodness, this is the worst ohm ever, I died twice on this ohm. Yeah, not the best kill ever, of course a white beam for that, 13k points, going to get like 150k reward, 131k. Oh my goodness, I am rusty. Uh, this is not going great. Uh, I died at Mutadiles. I have not died at Mutadiles ever. This is literally my first death ever at this uh, boss. Oh my god, these raids, man. Oh my god, no, dude. 58 HP. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. I'll just go in and kill it now. That was so close to get a deathless. Oh well, that is very disappointing, but uh, yeah, anyways, I died earlier on the Muted Isle, so my points would have been like maybe 25k regardless, so not the best of points anyways, but uh, I'm not really feeling raids now, but I'm going to do one more. I'm at 40kc right now, and I mean, I really want to get a full deathless run to have a chance of getting an item at least, or a okay chance of getting one, so I'm going to do one more regardless of how it goes, that is going to be my last one. Last try did not go so well, I died on the head phase unfortunately, but I got 20,000 points at least. Raid number 41 is a white beam as well. I still haven't got a single purple beam, but it is very understandable as I keep dying all the time. But uh, hopefully in the future we can manage, if we do a bit of raiding now and then, to get down the deathless run without any problems. So I'm back at the agility course in Priftinas, and I am 77 agility now, done 30% maybe to 78, and I, of course I fall. But I have a quick question for you guys, uh, would you guys prefer going forward, me to do as I am doing right now, like small increments of each boss? I mean, I did do quite a bit of soldier in this video, but uh, comparably to other bosses like 30 or 40 Grador kills, which is not a ton, but it's a decent amount. And then just 4 raids and 5 corrupted gauntlets. Or would you guys want rather 1 boss focused videos? So for example, I do maybe 200 Grador kills and that's pretty much the video. Maybe some other stuff as well, but pretty much 1 boss per video or maybe 2, but more of that single boss or more variety. That's what I would love to hear from you guys, but I'm actually going to end the video here. I'm going to do some agility and hopefully I can get some experience if I don't fall all the time. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more of my videos, you can click any of the videos on the screen right now or subscribe to be notified when I post new videos. And thank you guys for the amazing support on the last videos. It's been insane. So, hope you guys have a good one. Take care.